Hi, just a quick reminder here about what we learned right before we went home for Christmas break. I wanted to remind you about momentum and the types of diagrams that we uh, created to think about momentum. And we call them if charts for initial, okay, and final. Okay, and what we found out is if there is no external forces, that the momentum before the, um, the collision and after is the same. Okay, so uh, the way we decided to um, diagram this is to draw boxes where the width is the mass. Let's say this was two kilograms. Maybe we had a second object that was one kilogram. So you see it was half as wide. And then the height would represent how fast the object was going. So here I have uh, an object, one, that has a, a velocity of two meters per second and a mass equal to two kilograms and therefore a momentum which is mass times velocity so for object one of four kilogram meters per second and our second object clearly had a velocity of one meter per second a mass of one kilogram and therefore had a momentum of uh, uh, one times one one kilogram meter per second Okay. So um, then afterwards, uh, let's say these two things came, ran into each other and stuck together. And when things stick together, uh, we often draw them as one object. So let's say one plus two are now stuck together so they have the same velocity. Let's call that V final. We know they have a mass of three kilograms. So how much, what was our total momentum in the first place? Both of these had positive momentum and we had a P total. P1 plus P2 of 5 kilogram meters per second. And therefore, V final, uh, we can find by first finding P final. Well, we know P final for the whole thing is going to be 5 kilogram meters per second. Okay, because this area here has to equal the sum of these areas here. Okay, and uh, V final would equal P final over M total. Okay, since they stuck together, and that'd be five kilogram meters per second over three kilograms, and that's going to give you something like uh, uh, one and two thirds, or one point seven kilogram. Uh, I'm sorry, not kilograms, meters per second. Kilograms from a factor of one. Okay, so that was the idea. Just real quickly, let me show you how it uh, helped us solve a, um, a more difficult problem. There was a problem with a, a kid on a, on a cart, um, and the kid and the cart are moving to the right at some speed, and at the end, the kid jumps off the cart, so um, the initial, so that his V... Um, Let's call him object one, V final equals zero meters per second. And then the question is, what's going on with the cart? V2 final. Okay, and we had a mass for the kid, a mass for the cart. Okay, um, that was sort of hard to figure out. How is the uh, uh, a person who is on a cart going to the right? How do they jump off? What has to happen for them to jump off? and not be moving relative to the ground after they jump off. Okay, And there was a lot of talk about that, but it turned out to be really easy if you uh, just drew the if diagrams. You could sort of, instead of thinking about how this could happen, how this situation could happen, and what would happen to the cart, there's a lot of discussion about whether the cart would be moving back to the left or to the right. There's lots of confusion there. But let's just look at the, the if charts. Okay. And initially, we put the, 
the cart and the kid together. So we call them mass 1, mass 2 rep are represented by the width and V initial represents the initial velocity. So this area right here is the initial momentum and in the final situation the, the kid and the cart are separated so we know that the kid's velocity is zero therefore we know that the cart has to be doing whatever it needs to be doing so that this area right here is equal to this area right here okay and once we know that uh, it's very easy to find uh, what this final velocity of the cart needs to be to make this area equal to the entire area here. And now we can go back and think about, well, how did that happen? Uh, you find out the cart was going very fast afterwards. It wasn't going backwards at all. In fact, it was going very fast in the original direction that it was moving. And uh, we can think about, in terms of Newton's third law force pairs, how that happened. Okay, so practice some of those problems, um, and uh, we'll get back to it when we get back from Christmas.